Hi, my name is George Wilson. I'm with the ZFS development team, and I'm here to talk to you about a feature in Solaris 10 Update 9 called Triple Parity RAID Z. Um, the idea behind Triple Parity RAID Z is simply to extend what was already available with Double Parity RAID Z. Um, so many of you can think of Double Parity RAID Z as being a RAID 6 implementation, which allows you to have two drive failures within a given RAID stripe and still continue to operate and have access to your data. Triple Parity RAID Z extends that by introducing now three drives worth of parity, which allows you for three drive failures. Um, now you may wonder why exactly this is something of interest, um, and the reason where, or the motivation for this particular feature came from the fact that drives have historically been doubling in size over the past year. Um, we have, for example, if you look in the marketplace today, the capability of buying three terabyte drives. Soon we'll have five terabyte drives. So even though the capacities have actually been increasing, um, the performance of those devices hasn't actually kept in pace. So although they've gotten slightly faster, they're not fast enough which, um, to maintain a constant repopulation uh, transfer rate. What that means is that as you have to replace a given drive within a RAID stripe, it's going to take significantly longer for you to populate a three terabyte or five terabyte device, um, which means that you've reduced your redundancy and exposed yourself potentially to data corruption if you have no other parity devices uh, available. So again, the idea of having triple parity RAID Z was to allow you to have more time to be able to, to rebuild and resilver RAID stripes and still provide enough redundancy that you would still have either two, two parity disks or potentially if you've already lost two, you'd have an additional one still waiting in the wings. So um, it's really just to minimize the exposure of any kind of rebuild times given the, the fact that drives have gotten to a capacity which is much larger and take a lot longer to actually resilver.